Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Gonzalez Clark. I am back today to talk to you all about numeric expressions, how to create them and how to evaluate them. We're going to look at this problem today. This is a um, two part problem and we're going to see how we can use our knowledge of expressions and evaluate in the expressions to help us to solve this problem. Now, as usual, we are going to use the 3V protocol to help us to understand this problem. So I'm going to read it first. And after I complete my first read, you're going to think about what the situation is that's going on in this problem. Not a long problem, so this should be pretty simple. Okay, so Miss Hayes has a half liter of juice. She distributes it equally to six students in her group. So I want you to pause your video and take a moment and very quickly, what is the situation that is occurring in this problem? Okay, so the situation that is occurring in this problem is that we have Ms. Hayes, she has a certain amount of juice and she has to take this juice and she has to give it to a few kids in her, in her group, in her class. So she has a certain amount of juice that she has to distribute and give out equally to several kids in her group. So let us put that as our situation. Okay, so we have Mrs. Hayes has juice that she needs to distribute evenly to the kids in her class. Let me just try to move this. Excellent. So that's our situation. So now we're going to read it again together. And after we read it the second time, we're going to think about the quantities that are evident within the problem. Okay, so let's read. Miss Hayes has a half liter of juice. She distributes it equally to six students in her group. So again, pause your video, take a moment, and I want you to start documenting the quantities that you've noticed in the problem. Okay, great. So what quantities did we notice? We notice that we have a half liter, which represents the juice, but we also notice that we have six students in that group. But there's also something else that's very important, the word equally. Although it's not a numeric quantity, that is represented in this problem. It is a very important word though that we need to um, pay attention to because it actually is going to um, steer us into the direction in which, which is going to tell us what operation we need to use. So that's something that I'm going to put as well. So let me just slide this over. Okay, those are our important quantities. Now we're going to read the question one more time. And after we're done reading the question another time, you guys are going to start to think of your mathematical questions, at least two. What mathematical questions can you conjure up based off of the information in this problem? Okay, so let's get ready to read it one more time together. Miss Hayes has a half liter of juice. She distributes it equally to six students in her group. So again, pause your video, take a moment and think about some mathematical questions that you can solve, that you can create and solve based off of this problem. Okay, great. So one mathematical question that we can ask is how many more meters, I'm sorry, how many more liters of juice Will Miss Hayes need if she wants to give each of the 24 students in her class the same amount of juice, which was found in part A. So let's use that as one of our 
questions. Okay. And we need another question. So what else can we ask? Let's see. Um, how about what amount of juice did each of her six students get when she distributed it equally? So let's put that one. How much juice did each of her six students receive? Okay, great. So we made our two mathematical questions. I'm going to try to slide this over. Give me one second. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we did our 3 read protocol. We understand what our situation is that's occurring. We have highlighted the important quantities that are represented in the problem. And we created two mathematical questions that we can potentially solve based off of um, the work we do in this problem. So we're going to move on and see how we can get to the um, solution to this problem. OK, great. So let's focus on the first part of the problem. We have. Um, one second. Okay, awesome. We have, we know that Miss Hayes has half a liter of juice. So I'm going to write that half. Okay. Now, with this half liter of juice, she needs to take it and she needs to equally distribute it to six students in her group, which means we have to take this half and we're going to have to split it equally, divide it amongst six students. So this is a division problem in which we're taking a half and we're dividing it by six. Now let's look at that visually. So I'm going to make a representation. And I am going to split this in half. Now our emphasis is on the half, so I'm going to pay attention to this half right here. Now we need to take this half and we need to divide it six times equally because that is what it says in the problem. She is taking this half liter of juice and she's distributing it equally among six students in her group. So I'm going to divide this into six even equal parts. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So looking at this half, if we divide it among six, six students, that means that each student is going to get one twelfth of that liter of juice, one twelfth. So each of the six students will receive one twelfth. This is my little cup with a straw because it's juice. One twelfth liter of the juice that Miss Hayes is trying to distribute equally. Okay, so I want to go back to my mathematical questions that we created, and I just want to look at this one. How much did each of her six students receive and we would receive and we answered that each student is going to receive one 12th liter so we were able to answer that mathematical question so I'm going to give it a little check just so that we know that it was taken care of however we haven't been able to tackle 
the first mathematical question. And we're going to try to do that right now. So the mathematical question that we wrote was, how many more liters of juice will Miss Hayes need if she wants to give each of the 24 students in her class the same amount of juice found in part A? So I'm going to make a little table. I'm actually going to, give me one moment. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, I am going to work on this side. I don't wanna get rid of our diagram. Now, we know that a half of that juice was split amongst six students. And I don't want to use the, I don't mean to use that greater than sign. I'm just going to put an arrow. So half of that liter of juice was for six students, which means if we had 12 students, we would have to double the half, which would give us one whole. And then that would be for 12 students. Now, if I added another six students, that would mean we would need an additional half, which would give us one and a half. And that would be for 18 students. And then we would look at an additional six students, which means I would need another half which would give me two holes, two liters, and that will accommodate 24 students. So if Ms. Hayes wanted to give the same amount, one twelfth liter of juice to 24 students, she's gonna need, she's going to need two liters of juice as opposed to a half liter of juice. Half liter of juice was fine for six students, but it's not gonna work for, for 24. We need to um, have more liters of juice to do so. So let's go back to our mathematical question. How many more liters of juice will Ms. Hayes need if she wants to get each of the 24 students in her class the same amount of juice found in part A? So how many more I'm sorry, how many more liters will she need? Well, she has a half. She has a half. So to get from a half to two holes, I want you to think about how much more juice will she need to get to the two holes. So she will need one and a half more liters of juice in order to give her the two complete liters that she will need to distribute equally amongst 24 students. So we were able to answer this question. So we were able to create a mathematical expression and we were able to evaluate that expression and use the information from that expression to take it a step further and see how much more juice Miss Hayes was going to need in order to fulfill to in order to um, make sure all of the students, all 24 students were able to receive the same amount of juice. Thank you. And if we wanted to write a numeric expression to answer part B, we can take the 1 12th and multiply it by the 24 students. And we'll multiply across, which gives us 24 twelfths. And after we divide, we get two. So that will show us that we need the two liters of juice in order for all of the 24 kids to get the same amount that the six kids initially received.